If you're a mill spouse photographer, I can almost guarantee the topic of sales tax makes you uncomfortable. I know taxes is not our favorite topic. However, doing a little bit of homework upfront is well worth the peace of mind that you're going to have going into tax season, knowing that you're set up correctly. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the three questions I ask myself every time we move to a new state. Hey friend, I'm Erin, military spouse and teacher turned photographer, and I love helping fellow mill spouse photographers build businesses that thrive despite frequent moves. I'm so glad you found me here. If you're coming up on a PCS and you're starting to think about how you're going to move your business, I have a freebie that I think will help. You can grab it on my website at erinthompsonphoto.com slash PCS dash prep, or I'll link it in the description below. Now, I don't have to tell you that taxes are complicated. You have income tax, you have sales tax. If everything was straightforward, we wouldn't be stressing out about it. And while I'm not a lawyer and I certainly don't know all of the intricacies involved, I do have a framework that I use every time I move to a new state. And it's as easy as the following three questions. First, are my services taxable? Second, if so, what's the tax rate? And third, how often do I have to make sales tax payments? Let's dig into each of these. So the first question, are my services taxable? I think this is the question that causes the most stress because it varies from state to state. And it doesn't necessarily vary just a little bit, but there can be a lot of variety. So in some states, only physical products are taxable. So things like your prints, your albums. In other states, digital goods are also taxed. And so even if you're just delivering digital images to a client, you may have to charge tax on that. In some places, the session itself, the service of photography is viewed as a service. And so it's not taxed. While in other states, it's viewed as having the purpose of providing a physical product or if digital products are taxed there, a digital product. And so thus the session itself is also taxed. It really just depends on where you are. And so your job is to do a little bit of homework to figure out what is the rule in the state that you're in. So how do you do this? Well, a quick Google search for sales tax photography in whatever state is gonna give you a lot of options, but you wanna be very careful when you're looking through the results. You're going to see a lot of different websites, probably some from other photographers sharing on their blogs what they have done. And I would encourage you to be very, very careful of this. So when I'm going through and looking, just like I said in the video when we talked about how to move the business itself, my recommendation is to stick with .gov websites. Quite frankly, I'm glad some random photographer from this state is willing to share what they're doing, but that's not their area of expertise and I'm not going to trust what they're doing with my business with the consequences that are possible. So my recommendation is going to be to stick to .gov websites. Now, what does that look like? I've pulled a couple examples here to show you. First up, we have Ohio's page on their Department of Taxation. There's an entire page dedicated to photography and it walks through all of the different scenarios that we talked about and what exactly you need to charge sales tax on. Similarly, when I pulled the page in Colorado at tax.colorado.gov, I come to a page that says sales and use tax letter rulings. This doesn't necessarily sound like what I need, but if you do a quick search on the page for photography, photos, photographs, you can see here that there is a result for digital photographs, which is gonna have some of the information that I need. As one more example, here's the law in Virginia. Again, there's a page on their website dedicated to photographs and you can read through it to see what the policy actually is. So again, when you're looking to see whether or not your services are taxable, stick to .gov websites. Now, once you figure out if your services are taxable, the next question is, what is the tax rate? So this also is going to vary not only from state to state, but also from city to city or county to county within the state that you're in. So my recommendation here would be to go again to your state's website to figure out what the sales tax rate is at the state level. And then you can take it one step further and look to see what it is in the city or county that you're shooting in. So as an example here in Virginia, I can see that the sales tax rate for the state as a whole is 5.3%. But then if I scroll down here and look to see where I actually live currently, I can see that the sales tax rate is 6%. So when I'm shooting clients that are in my, the city that I'm living in, I have to charge the sales tax rate of 6%. Again, it's going to vary from state to state. This is just one example based on where I am currently. 
Once you figure out what the tax rate is, the last question then is, how often do you have to make these sales tax payments? This, once again, depends on the state that you live in, and you're gonna find that information when you're setting up your sales tax account. It's usually based on how much money you make, but again, it varies from state to state. As a personal example, my business has a presence currently both in Ohio and in Virginia, and so when I'm shooting in either of those states, I'm following the sales tax laws in each, and in Ohio, I have to make those sales tax payments twice a year, but in Virginia, I have to make them once a month. So it just depends on what the state requires based on how much money you're making. As a little bonus tip, keep in mind that this money is not really yours. Sure, your client is paying it to you, but then you as the business owner are really just the middleman who's now responsible for paying that money to the state. So you wanna be really careful that you don't treat it as income and spend it or pay yourself with it and then be stuck when it comes time to make your sales tax payments. So you could move the money to a separate bank account. You could keep track of it in a spreadsheet. There's different ways to handle it, but just keep in mind that even though your client is giving it to you, that money isn't really yours and you wanna be really careful not to spend it. Well, there you have it, friend. I hope this was helpful. Next time you move, start with those three questions. Are my services taxable? What is the tax rate? And how often do I have to make sales tax payments? And you will be well on your way to getting yourself set up correctly for sales tax. If you have questions specific to your situation, I highly recommend reaching out to a CPA or a small business lawyer who knows the ins and outs of your state and your business and can help get those answered for you. But if you have questions kind of on the process, on those questions where you look for information, feel free to drop those in the comments below and I would be happy to answer them. I hope this helped. Don't forget to grab that freebie to get you ready for your next PCS and I will see you next time.